Welcome to the man cave and today we're going to do this old girl again. A couple of months ago you probably see the video. If not go back and look at it. I'll drop a link in the description below. Just um, take a look and you'll see where this thing was started for the first time since about the 80s. Since she come off a farm in Saffron Walden. She's 19... Let me get this right. That's a 34 I think it is. Lister B series. Commercial. And last time you see it, it was just on a pallet. Yesterday, after much sweating and heaving, managed to haul it up onto a trolley we knocked up. So um, we've got to put the colon tank on yet, hold the petrol tank on a bit better. But she's basically there. So we'll have a little walk around this thing. And then we're going to start her up. I've actually oiled all the governors because we had a problem. First time I got it started, if you saw the video... She just raced away. Um, so I've took all the governors to pieces and cleaned them up and oiled them. And everything is now hunky-dory and free. But will she start? Um, with listers, the only lister I've had before with this kind of mechanism on the top was a lister D. But I never really showed that much. So this is all pretty new to me, this lister business on here. But I have cleaned this up and I can actually see stop, normal and start on these little notches. So we're going to see now with the free governors if she starts. I haven't got any petrol in this tank. Someone's put a big enough petrol cap in here, haven't they? But as you can see, that's pretty much bone dry, so I ain't going to pick nothing up out of there. And I can't run up for long because we ain't got a coolant tank hooked up on it yet. So what we're going to do, take him off. We've got my little bottle here. We can fill him with petrol. Just up to where that starts flowing back into the tank, which is there. Perfect. Put the little cappy back on. I'll get a phone in a tripod and see where we're going to be, so I'm going to leave that pretty much quarter choke we'll go to start let's get the old camera in this little tripod here and let's see if she barks off and fires we're only cleaned one flywheel up but I'll show you how to do the other one on camera right let's see if this baby goes Just got to prime the oil. I did do all the oilers yesterday when I did the when I did the um, governors. So whether this will start on its own, I do not know. Maybe we need a bit less choke, a bit more choke, sorry. Ah. We had a spit. Bearing in mind this is only the second time this has been running in about 40 years. Anyway. goes first time she's running oh there Well, you see her do something. So, yes, she runs. And she's not racing away this time. I think I've got to get used to how to set this fuel up. 
Because I say these old engines are all a bit unique. They like their own way of doing things. But there you go. That's the first time she's been running in. No, second time she's been running in 30 or 40 years. So she's done all right. She's on the trolley. I've cleaned one flywheel up. The other one was like that. Or is like that. That'll be done as well. Am I going to paint this engine? No. No, she's pretty much how it come out of the barn where that had been sat for years along with this tank. So I'm not going to do away with that character. She's she's not going to get painted. I'm going to leave her as she is and just give her a coat of linseed oil or a bit of oily rag or something. We'll go over her. But yes, you've seen the old Lister B run. Original ML Mag still on there, which is very good got to build a box on the back here now about so high tank on the back for the water somewhere up here silencer on there plumb the water in and yeah we'll be good to go we will be good to go right thank you very much for watching and come back on the next video when i probably show you some more of this thing Right, bye-bye for now. Ha <laughs> ha!